G'day, welcome back everyone. Um, the old saying, when the sun shines we make hay, or in this case, when there's high cloud about we get out and take photos. <laughs> uh, this week I want to talk to you something different, something that's uh, been thinking about while, uh, while I've moved out here into the uh, Central Australia, and that's my style and landscape photography style. And what's your style? Um, yeah, it got me thinking, style, it's always changing. Um, depending on what you're shooting, where you are. Uh, and, you know, some people out there who are new to landscape photography, they've just work, worked out, you know, they're on, um, they've moved to uh, manual settings now. They follow a lot, of, a lot of the big boys on YouTube or Instagram, and they're trying to find their own style. Thought I'd give my four, um, well, I came up with four sort of tips or ideas on finding your own style or what your own style is. But uh, for now, I'm just, getting some really nice, lovely uh, side light here on these uh, termite mounds. So I'm gonna take a few images and I'll give you my uh, four uh, tips or advice on you finding your own style. So I just wanna take this image first. Oh, I've got some nice side light. Well, that'd be right. Um, a lot of cloud now killing the sun on the horizon there, but I'm gonna hang around anyway. Uh, let's see if we get some nice light on some trees here or some termite mounds. Like I said, moving out here uh, got me thinking about my own style, my own journey. Uh, prior to this, prior to moving out, uh, this is arid landscape, uh, Central Australia. I was predominantly shooting waterfalls or a lot of woodland, um, which I miss greatly. Can't wait to get back someday to shoot that. But I had to change my style moving out here. And I was saying there's four things that uh, I think control your style or you can work what your style is worked around. Um, Location is the big one, first one. Um, composition, color, and your post-processing. And all of those four things combined will uh, determine sort of your style of your landscape photography. Just like any sort of artistic uh, avenue you want to take in life, whatever it may be. All has its own styles you have your own style doing it whether it's playing the guitar painting taking photos dancing whatever it is you've got your own style and how do you determine that style yeah so that brings me to locations what are you predominantly shooting uh, woodland seascape mountains arid outback conditions like myself that all determines your style of course you can do across the board but again if you live by the ocean, you're predominantly going to do seascape. Or you don't live anywhere near the ocean like me, I'm not going to do seascape. Um, or you live uh, near forests, beautiful woodlands, you're going to do woodland. So yeah, that's a determining factor, location. Number two, I guess, is your composition, what you're shooting. Are you always going wide angles, tally photos? Um, your perspective, are you always getting down low? Are you up high, are you using a drone? Again determines your uh, style. Uh, for me, I, I usually use my, um, well, now that I've got it, uh, 24 to 200 mil. I probably use it 80% of the time. It's such a versatile lens um, out here. Uh, good travel lens. But prior to that, or I was using my 14 to 30 mil ultra wide. I guess probably most of you go ultra wide. Um, but, you know, not always staying at waist height, getting down low. Whatever, that little determine your style as well. Um, yeah, so always take that into factor, um, you know, your lenses, your composition. Uh, do you like always the classic uh, foreground interest or your wide open vista? Um, yeah, for me, I, I used to like uh, foreground interest, but moving out here, it's such an open, vast landscape. Uh, I, I changed it up a bit, and I usually go for uh, the ghost gums or uh, the big red rocks you see. Love it out here with all these uh, really dynamic um, contrast. Uh, the third is color. Uh, if you like to shoot in color, or black and white, uh, also determines your style, I guess. Um, I've recently, you probably know, shot, shot a few couple of videos in black and white. Um, and if you look at, on my Instagram feed, I've probably got one or two out of my whole feed on black and white. So. Uh, nothing against that. I just don't shoot black and white. Probably most of you don't either, but uh, that also determines your style. Uh, you know, what color setting you're going to shoot in, black and white. 
uh, sort of intimate landscapes, fine art, or uh, yeah, just these uh, big vistas, woodland sort of coloured photography. So that's also uh, a determining factor in your style, uh, something to think about. Yeah, just probably about 10, 15 minutes before these clouds set. Clouds set, what am I saying? Going nuts out here. Uh, 15 minutes before the sun actually sinks. And I'm not sure about these clouds. I'll talk about the last one. Probably one of the most important factors in your style is your editing. So yeah, editing. Uh, I find editing's 50-50. The photography part coming out, composition, uh, is a huge part. But it's not all of it, the rest of it, the other half of it is your editing, your editing style. Uh, since coming out here, I had a few comments saying, oh, you know, your images are a lot more contrasty. Um, and that's because of the conditions. The landscape out here is very contrast. Usually I get bright blue skies, this red soil you can see, um, these bright grasses all around me. And I've tried to dull down the contrast on my editing and it doesn't work because that's not what it is out here. Uh, what you see in my images is pretty much what you see with the eye. Just huge contrast between the sky, the ground, um, yeah, everything out here. So I found I had to change my uh, editing slightly. And like I was saying, editing is a huge part of your landscape photography. Yeah, so once you find your niche, or how you like to edit in Lightroom, or, or whatever software you're using, that's pretty much, you know, like I said, probably 50% of your style. Um, and of course it'll evolve once you get better at Lightroom, and your uh, style will evolve, it'll change, uh, you'll find new ways to edit photos, and it'll get better, and you'll look back five or six years on some old images, and you go, wow, at the time you probably think they're, they're, they're some of the best photos you've ever taken, and you'll go back and you'll be like, should I edit it like this? It's just a continuation, I guess. Um, a little tip I'd probably give, uh, and a lot of them out, people out there sell them as presets, don't ever buy presets, they're garbage. Um, use your own, um, use your own uh, artistic flair on, on an image. So yeah, those are my four sort of tips or avenues to find your own style. And maybe you can go away and think about it if you're new to landscape photography. And uh, yeah, get out there and take some images. But right now, I'm just going to hang around for a bit longer. A little bit of pink colour in the sky here behind me. I don't know if it's picking it up, but I might find another composition. See how we go. So yeah, leave in the comments uh, any other tips or advice you'd give to finding your own style. Uh, like all art, landscape photography is subjective. So, you know, what you like or what I see is completely different to what you might see. Uh, me and you might go to the same location, I'll see something and shoot it and you'll pick something else out in the landscape. And that's the great thing about landscape photography. I guess like all art, it's subjective and um, putting your own twist on it with uh, editing is uh, the best thing you can do for your landscape photography. <sighs> These flies are uh, getting back into summer now and the flies are starting to give me the heebie-jeebies. But in saying that, I think I'm getting used to them. Uh, they're not as bad. As when I first came out here, I was, they were driving me nuts. I think now I'm used to them just landing all over me. And, uh, yeah. Subjective, really, isn't it? But, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if I get any great images, uh, I'll hang around. If I get any great images, I'll chuck them up. But I just want to come out, talk about, um, you know, style, finding your own style. Uh, I guess this video is as much for me as well, talking about my style and, and what I, moving forward from, in landscape photography, from uh, woodlands to outback Australia. You're always evolving, um, and that's a good thing. So, get out, have some fun. See you on next week's adventure. Have a good week, guys. See you later.